PANDAS is short for Pediatric Autoimmune Neuropsychiatric Disorders Associated with Streptococcal Infections. It's a rare condition where a simple strep infection, like strep throat, triggers a sudden onset of neuropsychiatric symptoms in children. The trigger is a common type of bacteria called Streptococcus pyogenes, the same one that causes strep throat or scarlet fever. When strep enters the body, the immune system responds by making antibodies, which are specialized proteins that recognize and attack the bacteria. Strep, however, has a clever way of deceiving the immune system. Some of its surface proteins closely resemble molecules found in human tissues, a mechanism called molecular mimicry. On one hand, this defense mechanism helps the bacteria slip past detection. But in some cases, it can lead to cross-reactions, where the antibodies not only recognize strep antigens as foreign, but also mistakenly attack human tissues. In pandas, these antibodies target brain structures within the basal ganglia and thalamus, which are essential for regulating movement and behavior, leading to the abrupt onset of neuropsychiatric symptoms. Now, the hallmark manifestations of PANDAS are symptoms of Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, or OCD, and motor or vocal tics. OCD might look like constant hand washing, repeated checking, or intrusive fears that the child can't dismiss, like a sudden overwhelming worry that their family could get hurt if they don't perform a specific routine. Ticks can be as subtle as rapid blinking, or as obvious as repetitive jerking movements or sounds. Alongside these, many children experience mood swings, separation anxiety, irritability, depression, and even regression, where they might start behaving much younger than their actual age. As a result, school performance can drop unexpectedly, and handwriting may become messier. Also, some children can develop joint pain, increased sensitivity to light, sound, or touch, urinary frequency, bedwetting, or other sleep disorders. What makes pandas so striking is the speed and severity of these changes. Often, it can feel like the child's personality, mood, and abilities have shifted almost overnight without any apparent cause. Diagnosis of PANDAS starts with a detailed medical history, looking closely at the timing of symptom onset and whether there's been a recent strep infection. Lab testing focuses on evidence of strep exposure. A throat swab for rapid antigen detection or culture can pick up an active infection. If that's negative, blood tests such as antistreptolysin O can suggest an infection within the last few weeks. There are many conditions that can mimic pandas, including Tourette syndrome, anxiety disorders, and autoimmune encephalitis, which is why clinicians often order additional tests to rule them out. This may include basic labs, inflammatory markers, and in some cases, brain imaging, or an electroencephalogram, or EEG. Ultimately, the diagnosis relies on the pattern of the symptoms and excluding other conditions which is why PANDAS remains a debated and sometimes controversial diagnosis. Treatment for PANDAS focuses on treating the strep infection and managing neuropsychiatric symptoms. Antibiotics like amoxicillin or penicillin are the first step to clearing the infection, and they may also be used to prevent flare-ups. Behavioral symptoms, tics, and anxiety are often treated with cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, and in some cases, short-term medications like selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs. For severe or resistant cases, immune therapies such as intravenous immune globulins, plasmapheresis, or corticosteroids may be considered but these are reserved for specialized centers. Most children improve or recover completely with treatment. However, some may experience recurrent flares if they get new strep infections, so close monitoring is important. All right, as a quick recap, 
Pandas is a condition where a strep infection triggers an abrupt onset of neuropsychiatric symptoms in children. Diagnosis is based on the timing and abrupt onset of the symptoms, along with evidence of a recent strep infection. Treatment may involve antibiotics, behavioral therapy, and medications to manage the symptoms. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.